Hey everyone, I'm Organix here and welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. So today I'm going to be showing you all how to change the colors of bipeds in Halo 2. Now, this is on the PC version of Halo 2 and it does require a modding tool to do it, but it doesn't require like any other mods or anything, just a modding tool. And it is actually pretty easy to do once you do get the hang of it. So what I mean by changing the colours of bipeds in Halo 2 is like the enemies and Master Chief. The enemies that I've been able to do it with are the elites and grunts and I have been able to change Master Chief's skin as well. As you can see I've actually made it blue. I'll show some footage here. And also as you can see with the elites there's pink ones and also I'll show a green one here as well. There's also like a really light blue grunts and pink grunts and stuff like that too. And it is pretty cool to play around with and I was just playing around in Assembly++ which is what we're going to be using today to do this right and I will uh, show my desktop in a second where we're going to be doing that. And so I was just to play and so just one day right I was just playing around in Assembly++ and I found the bipeds and I was going through, I think it was the grunt ones, and then I found the colour section and I noticed that the colours that were chosen were similar to the colours of the grunt's uh, shell. It was the minor grunt in particular, it had like the more orangey sort of shell, right? And I'm like, hmm, I wonder if I change the colour of this, it will change the colour of the grunt in the game. So I did. So anyways, uh, after changing the colour of the grunt, I went into the game and boom, it worked. And to be honest, I was kind of surprised. And so that's why I'm making this video today, now to tell you all about it. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you probably would have already known about this, especially if you've already been into Halo 2 modding back in the day, like years and years ago. You've, you've probably already all known about this if you are someone from back then, but if you're someone new, or you're just someone who's been playing Halo for a long time and hasn't got into modding yet or known about it even, then this video is for you, so how about now I show you all how to do this. Alright, so here we are. Uh, first, let's go into assembly. And to find this, it's pretty easy. Just search up like Halo 2 assembly plus plus and there should be things showing up on Google. And now what you want to do is you want to go open content file and you want to navigate to your Halo 2 map files, which it should be under uh, Halo 2 Vista or Halo 2 Project Cartographer, depending on what you've got. Halo 2 Project Cartographer is actually a free version of Halo 2 Vista, basically. And um, you can just find their website on Google, literally just search up Halo 2 Online or Halo 2 Project Cartographer, and you can download the full game for free. And so yeah, so what the map we're going to be doing today is Old Mombasa, which is outskirts. And here we are. So now let's go into the tags. And then under tags, you should quickly find bipeds. And here we are. So I've actually searched through all these and I can't really find the uh, other colors for them. Some of them do have colors, but uh, let's look at the Marines, for example. They look, here's um variant name, Johnson Dress, and then you've got white, but I don't know what this is exactly for, so I don't really play around with that. But then the elites and grunts, uh, these are the ones which actually do work and actually, and I do actually recommend playing around with, because guaranteed these do change the colours of them. So as you can see here, we've got the, uh, you can see the variant name here of what uh, elite you're changing. So here we've got a minor and it has SCL. There's different variants of the minor as well and one thing I've noticed right even if you change the minor variant this minor variant here to pink right not all of the minors are going to be pink some of them will still stay blue and that's because you have to change the other variants of them as well. Let's try to find the other minor variant. Um, there we go minor dog that's another variant as well that you need to play around with to change the colors. So then here we have uh, Ultra CL. This one didn't actually uh, work for me. It's like a yellow and blue. That would have been cool to see in game though. I haven't seen that one. 
the ones we did see though, but yeah, you can basically play around with the colours on these. So this is the one I also showed in gameplay as well, the green major dog. So the major SCL didn't work for me, so I recommend playing around with the major dog and that will work for sure. And this is just on the map, Old Mombasa as well, or Outskirts, which is the official name of it. So, any map could be different, it depends on the map you're trying to do it on. But yeah, you can literally just play around with these colours and guaranteed it will change the colour of the enemies and stuff, the bipeds. And like I said too, you can do it with Master Chief. Master Chief, guaranteed it will work as well. Uh, this is where you change the colour for him right here. Basically, just go down to change colours. Uh, actually, I didn't even know that that's what it was under. Here, let me just go to um Bugger and see if... Wait, no, it wasn't Bugger that I was on Marine. Yeah, it does say change colours here, so maybe you might be able to actually play around with colours here as well. So if you guys want to, even try around with the Marines if you want. You could try around with these. Tell me how it actually goes. I'd love to hear how it goes in the comments below. In fact, I might even change the colours myself and uh, I'll, I'll report back soon on uh, how it works. I won't try it in this video, but I might uh, leave a comment down below and I'll pin it basically just explaining, uh, hey, it worked. But if you guys want to try it for yourselves as well, then be sure to, and uh, maybe even let me know before I go in-game and try it out myself. I'll just save that. So basically, when you uh, change the colors, you want to save it. And boom, you should be done and ready to go. And then once you get back into your game, you should actually have all the colors changed. And like I said, uh, if you do have any difficulties and you do find that your grunts or elites or your Master Chief isn't changing colors, then, I mean, not Master Chief. With Master Chief, you should be fine because it's just that one variant right there. But if you find problems with the grunts or elites, then it's probably because there's other versions of that variant, like there's other versions of the minor and the major of the elite and stuff like that. But yeah, so anyways guys, that's the end of this video. If you did enjoy, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And uh, yeah, see you all soon. Bye-bye.